Today, we will be showing you how to use a Suica train pass in Japan. Suica train passes are incredible. They let you use trains all over Japan, as well as an alternative for paying for things at convenience stores, restaurants, and even vending machines. Many of the places that accept Suica do not accept credit cards, so Suica can come in a pinch if you're out of cash. Also, if you charge your Suica, you can avoid having the hassle of to count coins whenever you have to pay for something. It's a huge life hack, and we highly recommend that you use it while you're in Japan. After watching this video, you will know the right place to buy your Suica train pass, how to operate the various ticket vending machines, and also how to charge your Suica train pass when you're out of funds. This is David from Mochi Mochi Japan, and let's get started. In Japan, your train pass is called an IC card and is universally accepted at all major rail stations. Each region in Japan offers different IC cards. However, today we will be focusing on Suica, which is the IC card that is distributed in Tokyo. To obtain a Suica card, walk up to the vending machine and press Purchase New Suica. After that, press Blank Suica and insert the amount that you want to charge it with. After that, take your Suica and you're done. To charge your Suica, insert it into the vending machine and select Charge. After you select the amount of money that you want to charge it with, you're good to go. Now that you have your new Suica card, it's time to get on the train. To do this, walk over to the ticket gate and tap your Suica on the blue light to pass through. If the light turns red, that means that there is an insufficient balance on the card. Once you get on the train, don't put away your Suica just yet, as you will need to tap it on the way out. To leave the station, approach the ticket gate from the other side and tap on the blue light to pass through. IC cards can also be used to buy drinks from vending machines around Japan. To do this, find a vending machine with the IC card logo on it, touch the button of the drink you want, and then tap your IC card to pay. It's that simple. Finally, IC cards can also be used as a form of payment at almost all convenience stores. At checkout, just touch the IC card logo, or just say, pay with Suica. And if you don't have enough money on the card at the moment, you can just ask the cashier to charge it for you. Finally, it's time to introduce some points to remember about using Suica in Japan. Suica can be exchanged for cash if you go to a JR ticket booth. Please remember that this is not the ticket booth that is located in each station. It's a separate ticket booth, which is the same one that's used for the Shinkansen, that is located in big stations such as Shinjuku and Ikebukuro. Next, please remember that you will have to make a 500 yen deposit when creating a Suica card. This money will be returned to you once you exchange it for cash. Lastly, if you have an iPhone, you can create a Suica card right from your phone. Just tap on the wallet app and then tap the plus sign in the right hand corner. Next, select Transit Card and scroll down until you see Suica. Tap on Suica and then tap the amount that you want to charge it with. Please note that you will have to have a credit card registered with Apple Pay in order to use your Suica. Thanks so much for watching until the very end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and see you in the next video.